Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, Capricorn, your general theme for the month is getting things organized. Well, I mean, that's typical Capricorn stuff. Having all of your ducks in a row and doing it on your own. Um, what they're saying is also remember that this month there aren't a lot of options and there aren't a lot of choices. So kind of learning to go with the flow and um, dealing with what comes up as it comes up, okay? Now the beginning of the month for you, it's like, okay, it's hard to figure out what's going to make you happy. How do I welcome more loving and wonderful, joyful energies into my life if I don't even know what those things are? So it makes you feel a little bit hopeless. Towards the middle of the month, um, Things could change a little bit, but it's, all, it's like you have walls up. So even if you were able to receive some things that um, are good for you that could provoke those sorts of sentiments, you might not be feeling that way. Um, and so we're going to want to try to break our walls down. So how do you do that? They're saying, well, it's a slow process over time, but it's basically do less. Because I feel like a lot of you might be working really hard on things in order to avoid facing our feelings and acknowledging them and working through them instead of just suppressing them. Now, when you get to the end of the month, um, it's that's when you want to be more active and what they're saying here is like not in like a very precise um, precision you know super detailed type of way but just taking action on whatever your intuition is telling you whatever kind of just comes out of nowhere what the signs are pointing you towards because you'll be more intuitive um, and maybe it has something to do with astrology, but as we get to the end of the month, it's like the universe, God, spirit guides, angels, whatever, are kind of pushing you to what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so the first part of the month, it's like, you know, you've got a good routine going, things are in order, which creates a space for you to actually tear down those walls, work through your feelings. And then at the end of the month, all of a sudden you're going to know what to do and can pick that activity back up. Okay. So the best part of the month for you is that you could be overflowing with love, joy, and happiness. But like I said, it depends you to, it depends on you to kind of go through that stuff. Um, in the beginning, getting everything clean and organized and stuff like that, that's not a bad thing um, because a decluttered space is a decluttered mind, which will help you to think more clearly, which helps you to process your feelings more in the middle of the month so that we start moving towards what we want and figuring that out and thinking about it. But that's been a common theme for a lot of the signs this month. Typically, I um, only do my life uh, purpose and happiness coaching um, combined with tarot for clients that I think really need it. It's like a full nine week program. But um, this month I think I'm gonna do like single mini sessions to help clients get on the back, on the right track. And I'm gonna open that up to everybody. So there is a link in the description box below if you need help with that. Um, the biggest challenge of the month for everybody is like, so um, those of you who are not already connected to your forever person to that soulmate that person that's supposed to be in your life um you might be kind of hard on yourselves and you might start thinking like oh is this ever going to show up for me um you shouldn't be doing that don't be hard on yourself and you know um i guess <sighs> that's going to maybe come up better in the love readings but they're saying is like some of you um 
are either going to be really hard on yourselves and then the rest of you are going to suppress that feeling like whatever is making you feel kind of icky um in your love life like maybe you feel like you're paired with the wrong person or that you're not as connected and intimate as you used to be or whatever um you know, deep bonded emotional relationships and attachments are going to cause some stuff if we avoid it. Um, so that's the biggest challenge. So the guidance for you this month is that remember that you are unconditionally loved and supported by, you know, God, angel, spirit guides, the universe, whatever. Maybe there's people in your life that unconditionally love you as well, but that's there for you even if you don't recognize it or you don't realize it, okay? So you can call on your angels or your spirit guides at any point in time and ask them to help you feel better, to give you a hug, to help you work through things. Like that's all you have to do is think it in your head and they do it. That's like literally their purpose, okay? So your crystal of the month is blue calcite, and there's a lot of reasons why that'll help you get through this month, um, but for those of you who don't give a shit, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about it forever. Just, you can check out this blog post here. There's a link in the description box below, and if you don't already have a crystal, um, a blue calcite crystal, then there's also links to um, somebody, I, like a business I trust that sends them out, or you could get the crystal of the month through me, whatever. Love you so much, and I'll see you next month. Oh, 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 oh,